Alright guys, something's been happening recently and I feel like I just gotta put my two cents into it. It's the right thing to do. Better. What, you think there's more? That's it? Alright, fine, there's more. Anyways, I promise I'll never make a stupid intro like that again. So the CEO of Sega recently came out saying that they feel like they betrayed their fans. The CEO's name is Hajima Satomi, and he came out in an interview with the uh, gaming magazine uh, Famitsu. It's a Japanese gaming magazine. I don't know much of it, obviously. Um, but they went in an interview, and the CEO admitted that they, he feels like the company has betrayed the trust of fans over the last 10 years. I'm going to read you guys the interview. At the end, I'm going to give you guys my opinion. I've been talking to employees about how Sega should start putting serious consideration to the quality from this point on. He particular, In particularly, uh, the North American and Europe um, portion of Sega, um, where it's been more of a focus on schedules. That's a huge problem. If that's how you're running your company... You're nose diving it into the ground. Those are the reasons why Sonic 06 happened. It's because of schedules and not focusing on quality. The game was not finished. When you focus on nothing but schedules and not quality, your games will go down here. Though your money is up here, you slowly lose your trust of fans. You'll just lose money altogether. If they, if they, if this is a, if this really is how they've been running their company, I'm shocked. That's terrible. Um, but anyways, they go on to say that I believe that if we can't make, qu maintain quality, it would be better not to release anything at all. I agree. Continuing, Satomi said that he feels that the company did its best to build a strong connection with fans of Sega, but admitted that he uh, that the games it released may have betrayed the faith. We did our best to build a relationship of mutual trust with older fans of Sega, but looking back, there have been some titles that have particularly betrayed that trust in the past 10 years, he said. He's talking about Sonic, obviously. Um, he just doesn't want to say names. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't agree more. Sega just overall touch with its series and everything's just died down. Sonic was on, was on the ball in the 90s. He was really becoming something. He was something special. But when the 2000s hit, it's like they didn't care anymore. Um, and then they just kind of stopped caring about him, and his games just got bad. Um, Sega in the 90s was known for its brand, but after that, we've lost trust, and we're left with nothing but reputation. We'd like to win back that trust and become a brand once again. I hope that happens one day. If I could, in my generation, see Sega and Nintendo butt heads again as a company... That would be something to see. I really, I, I really wish for the day Sega will be up, up there again next to Microsoft and Sony. Um, but though there's a lot that he's saying, I have to see it first. I really can't say that I'm happy now that they admitted this. I gotta see it. Um... Looking forward, the executive of Sega said that they are planning to announce something um, for home consoles at the Tokyo Game Show. Um, this, I'm hoping it's not just a Sonic game. Sega needs to take a break from the Sonic series. Yes, I want a new Sonic game really bad, but if they're going to announce a Sonic game, go for it. But don't let that be the only, so the only game you're announcing. Announce other series. Open your library. Make another Rise Star. Make another Comic Zone. Okay, make something cool. Um, don't keep it Sonic. Um, expand your library. Um, when this Tokyo Game Show hits, which I think it's September, from what I heard, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my eyes and ears open for it. I, I'm I'm really looking forward to what they're gonna announce. I'm just. I'm just kind of shocked that this is how their company's been doing. Obviously, we all knew it, 
But for them to just come out and say it like it's been no big deal, it's kind of, I don't know, shocking to me. Um, Props to the CEO of Sega. Uh, Props to Hajima Satomi for even coming out and saying this. Companies usually don't even say let this out in public they usually just keep that under the rug um of their dirty ways and they just focus on money but he cares he cares about the fans and overall if he does this and focus on quality of games your customers will build you'll your company will build as a whole um though i'm not looking forward to sonic boom fire and ice which I think is just a mistake. I don't know who at Sega said that that was a good idea to make a sequel to the worst Sonic game you've ever made. Um, but other than that, I have to see something. I, I I really, really got to see something out of Sega that would really knock my socks off and bring my trust back in them. Because after Sonic Boom, I felt like they don't care anymore. They are just letting Sonic die I don't think Sonic Boom, the whole series, really doesn't need to exist. There's no reason for it, other than to redesign their characters. Um, I watched the cartoon. It's funny, but I just... A lot of Sonic fans say, don't worry about the character design. But when it's that cartoon, I just wish it was just the old old Sonic. Not the classic Sonic, but the Sonic we know and love. Not the Sonic Boom Sonic. I just think it looks ugly. Just, if you're going to make a funny cartoon, let it be an actual Sonic cartoon. Why change it? You know, make a Sonic game. Hell, just make a good game. That's all we ask. Um, I, I'm looking forward to the Tokyo Game Show. I hope it's something big. Some people have make rumors that it's uh, going to be a Sega console like the Dreamcast 2. That's not happening, guys. Sega is in no position to um, release a console. If they do, my mind will be blown, but it's not going to happen. And I could tell you right now, it's not going to happen. They don't have the money to even make consoles like that and then ship it out. But I don't know. I, I, I hope Sega really fixes the way they do what they do. And I hope this is, I, I take this as a promise. From what he's saying right now, I'm looking at it as a promise. Now I'm waiting to see it. So that's all I really have to say. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please hit the like button uh, or dislike button. Uh, say in the comments. Um, give me feedback. This is really my first actual video other than GTA 5. Um, I'm trying to build up my channel. Um, I want people to give me feedback. Give me anything I need, tell me anything I need to know uh, to build my channel and see what people want to watch. Um, it's hard for me. I'm not a good editor. I don't have very many things at my disposal right now. I need to get a new camera, a new microphone, all that. So just stay put for that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, my name is Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Come back to my channel. Many more to come. Um, that's all I have to say. Sega, I hope you have something planned, something big. It's probably Sonic Adventure 3. It's Sonic Adventure 3 against it. Anyways, so thank you guys so much for watching and take care.